In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to create an outline using the Create Outline tab from the Outline Tools and Module in the Design Center. So an example is this job here. We might want to uh, apply an outline to this to make it look a bit better. So we might dull the color off a little bit and we'll just add an outline to it. Now we can do that from these tools up here where we can just simply set an outline and you can see this preview that comes up on the screen. If I simply click on that, you'll see that the outline is applied like so. I'll just undo that quickly. So you can actually set this as an absolute measurement. I might want it to be, say, one and a half inches. I can just type that in like so, and you can see the preview come up like that. And I can decide to keep the holes or not to keep the holes by simply checking that box on or off. As you can see, it brings up the holes. Once I'm happy, I just click Apply, and you can see that you can easily set an outline around shapes like this very quickly using this module. Right, the other thing you can do too you can bring back the preview obviously by your settings that you had set and you can actually set the corner style now to do that I'll need to zoom in and show you so I'll just zoom into this uh, bottom right corner here so it's clear and I'll just select these two uh, parts of the object I'll click preview which brings up the settings I've already set and you can see that it's nice and sharp here but I can actually change that and make it say for example smooth and you can see that the uh, outline effect will now be smooth I can set it to sharp again, like we had before. I can set it to mitered, and you can see what it does there. Or I can set it to round, which is a little bit more round than smooth, as you can see. And once I'm happy, I click apply. And as you can see, it's applied that outline to the objects as I've set it. OK, so we'll just undo that quickly. All right, the next thing I want to show you is how we can set the outline to be a contour cut outline, so that it can be recognized by a printer cutter. Uh, to print and cut or you can set it up with the contour cutting wizard. So all we do is we select that option and click apply and it creates this contour cut line and as you can see in the fill here it's set as a contour cut line which works with the contour cut wizard and the contour cut module. So that's how we set that. The other thing we can do too is set the actual color of the outline in this, uh, in this tool panel here by simply changing this here and selecting the color that we're interested in. In this case we'll make it red. And as you can see, it applies it as the color I've selected. So to do that, it's very simple. You can make the outline any color you like. And we'll just set it back to black again. OK, the next thing I want to explain to you is the difference between this outline and the outline effect. As you can see, this is a solid shape that's been created. It can be edited, but it's just a solid shape. It's not dynamic. Once it's made, it's made. The outline effect, however, this is dynamic. You can save the job off and come back to this and, and change this effect and adjust it as you like permanently. Or if you um, ungroup the effect, which I'll try to do, or I'll do here, you'll see what will happen is, is that the effect will actually be, it will just disappear because I've ungrouped it from its um, parent object. So the difference between these two, I'll just undo that, is that this one is dynamic and changes. You can convert it to curves as I'm doing here and move it off and it's a, a solid shape again, whereas the other one with the outline that we've been talking about before, that's just applied as a one-off outline and it becomes a solid shape. The other thing we can do is bring up the outline module here and we can use the same tools to create an outline. But the advantage of the module is you can actually work with images here. So I'll show you this on the next page here. If I've got this object here which I've applied a mask to, I can actually uh, bring up the outline module and you can see that it detects that it's an image and it asks me to trace it. So I click yes and off it goes and traces it for me. And I've got access to the same tools as I do in the tool panel where I can create an outline like so around an image. I click accept and now I've got an outline around an image. So this tool panel, the create outline panel, is terrific for uh, creating outlines around objects like these or objects around images as we saw just before here. So you can experiment with these tools and features and that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.